I got this other question on my dev cloud and DevOps ask me anything and it goes thus. Let me read it from my computer right here. Is DevOps a beginner friendly role or should it be a transition from cloud engineering into DevOps? Thanks very much for asking the question. And I think, as I say, it's one of the important questions to ask because all questions are actually really important uh, to know if you can, with no experience in IT or cloud, to get into the DevOps space. I would say, yes, it is possible to get into the DevOps space without previous cloud experience. It is very much possible, but it is faster for those who have a bit of cloud understanding or some sort of software engineering background or networking background or people who actually do things related to the cloud space previously it is much much easier for them to transition into devops engineering uh given that depending on the role of course there's not so much of a gap between cloud and devops engineering it is easier to make that transition from cloud engineering into devops it's actually faster people who transition from cloud engineering into devops getting get acquainted with concepts much much faster than those who do not and from my experience teaching devops over the last couple of years those who have no it background sometimes will find it harder to understand devops concepts and to be able to get along compared to those who have a bit of software engineering or it background or in this case cloud engineering background so but it is definitely possible for them. I've taught people who actually have zero experience, zero skills in cloud engineering or IT or whatever. They literally came from other fields that are not IT related and they came into DevOps and they are doing very well. So yes, as a beginner, you can become a DevOps engineer. Yes, you can. What I would just say is that bit of cloud engineering experience helps you scale faster. So if you want to go from building a cloud engineer into DevOps engineering, it is faster for you compared to not having any previous cloud experience. That is my take on it. And I hope it answers your question. If you have more Dev Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything questions, remember to send them in using the link shown on your screen right now or scan this QR code showing right about now. And I will get to answer them as soon as possible. Until I come your way again with another video, remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family so they do not miss videos like I'll see you in another one. Goodbye.